Hello, Year 10. So, a bit of a breakdown of Section 2, or Question 2 of your mock paper, okay? Um, living World is uh, was the second section, and uh, I'm going to go through the answers to show you how you can improve uh, in the future and how you can get even better grades later on in the GCSE. Um, question number 1, or 2.1, said, using Figure 7, identify producer. Uh, figure 7 is showing you a food, uh, food web of a small-scale ecosystem, in this case a pond ecosystem, okay? Um, Biggest mistake made here is that a lot of people went straight to the start of the food uh, chain and was like, cool, that is a producer. Correct in some ways, but a producer has to be a biotic or living thing. It can't be abiotic and non-living thing. So a few people said the sun because it's at the start. It can't work, okay, because it's not a living thing. Um, so in this case, here it was you had to mention a large uh, water plant because it had to be a, um organism that uses photosynthesis to create... um to create energy okay so it can't be a flying insect it couldn't be a uh the sun either it had to be in this case a large water plant okay what is the difference between a food chain and food web a food chain is a single uh line of trophic uh, levels where you have producer a consumer uh, um whereas a tro uh, food web is a interconnected food chains together uh that interlink okay uh figure seven state one effect of a food web if disease killed most of the trout without the trout you'd have more aquatic insects because they wouldn't have any predators you'd have um you'd have more crayfish you'd have um uh you'd have a uh, few humans you could argue uh because we'd have less food to eat okay um for a small scale ecosystem that you've studied outline the link between producers and consumers the producers basically provide um transform the energy from the sun into energy that can be used and sugars uh so the producers provide the food uh, and the nutrients for the consumers to carry further along the food chain okay to convert sunlight into energy and the consumers then can eat that uh describe the location distribution of tropical rainforest well you got the equator here they're all along the equator uh and the second mark would be such as in continents such as africa south america and um southeast asia brilliant that'd be two marks uh, you then have here a diagram of a nutrient cycle and it says, using figure 9, what percentage of the biomass is stored in the roots? Um, <clears throat> in this case, you've got the roots over there, it says 30 tons, you calculate the percentage is 12.5%. Okay, outline one reason why nutrient recycling is very rapid in tropical rainforest. The main reason is that the rainforests are humid, they're hot, and so decomposition happens incredibly, and decay happens incredibly quickly. Okay, um... So just one example of human activity that might interfere with the nutrient cycle shown in figure 9. In this case here, the biggest one is um, uh, overgrazing could uh, reduce um, a soil, um, the nutrients in the soil, but the big one is deforestation. Okay, you cut trees down, we reduce the biomass. Without the biomass, you have less fall, fallout pathway, you've got less litter, you've got less decay, you've got less in the soil. So deforestation is the single biggest one there to talk about. Okay, um, it then said figure 10, facts file about deforestation, tropical rainforest. Trop and the question said tropical rainforest has major economic and environmental impacts. Do you agree? Um, in this case here, you have to do one piece paragraph saying, yes, I agree, because uh, it creates uh, bauxite, iron ore, manganese, gold, diamonds, mines, etc. So you'd say, yes, it has an economic impact because it provides jobs, resources, salaries, etc. Make a point, use the evidence saying the, the different types of uh, items that can be mined, analyze how that can help the multiplier effect, and say, however, it does have um, environmental impacts. And there you can talk about the gigatons of carbon dioxide release, you can talk about the habitats being destroyed, etc. So, okay, so you point evidence explanation for be economic and then it's counterpoint and explanation could be um environmental or vice versa okay but you have to agree and disagree uh, about in order to talk about both economic and environmental okay and then the final big one for nine marks was extreme environments provide opportunities for economic development uh choose either hot or cold desert in our case hot desert discuss the opportunities in your uh, chosen environment so there you had needed two piece paragraphs uh you needed to do um one paragraph where you talk about let's say uh, energy you say energy is give some evidence for energy explain how energy is an opportunity and say however the problem with the energy in the de hot desert for instance is that the fossil fuel therefore it has a negative impact on uh globe on uh, uh climate change therefore it makes already extreme conditions already more extreme and hot the second paragraph you say another issue is let's say um uh, another opportunity is farming uh give me some evidence explain why farming is good and say however farming uses an awful lot of water there's not much water etc you could do the same with tourism and mass tourism we basically had two paragraphs saying what's an opportunity and counterpoint saying how that opportunity is also a threat